Leos, this is your monthly reading for the month of September. <clears throat> I hope you're doing amazing. I have been working to get these readings out as fast as I can. They are kind of long because I did promise that you would get the extended versions as well for free this month. So to make everything easier, if you check the description box below, there's a video. There are timestamps for everyone that'll be <coughs> it'll be easier for them to get where they need to go. Okay. So we're gonna start with your energies in a reading for the month of Leo. Oh, not <laughs> the month of Leo, the month of September, Leo. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Nine of Cups in reverse, two nines. Hmm. Endings, completions, things being finalized. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Cups in reverse, the Three of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the World card, the Chariot. The Two of Swords in Reverse and the Page of Wands, okay? Perfect. So on the bottom of the deck, as you know, I like to pull two cards. We have the Two of Wands and the Knight of Cups in Reverse, okay? So Leo, you may have been de dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but it looks as though someone is not who they seem to be, okay? Or you may not be getting the love offer that you want, but I see you continuing to move on. Um, do I see you walking away? No. I see you continuing to go on, even though this person may not be perfect for you. Um, I see you still having hope that there is an opportunity for something more. Maybe with a fire sign, because I see this here, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or something new going on in your life, or maybe with this person, but we'll get into the reading so I can get more from it, okay? So in the past, you have the Eight of Cups in Reverse. The Eight of Cups in Reverse is about going back into things, and that's what I see. I see you're just kind of, uh, coming in and out doing what you have to do because you're letting a lot of things go okay a lot of things that maybe you have been worried about or um, getting out of a abusive relationship or a relationship where you couldn't express yourself and now you're kind of I don't want to say lost I want to say trying to find yourself I feel like that's a lighter way of saying it so moving forward into this month, we do have um, these two cards here. So I see you having trouble getting back on your feet or making money situations happen, or you may not even be feeling good with yourself, okay? And I see you struggling with trying to find contentment or what it is that you want, or even trying to make your normal dreams come true. You're healing from being lost or destitute or um, being left alone or feeling alone, all right? And you're trying to get everything in order so you can have that for yourself in the month of September, okay? What not to do is to focus on being hurt, is to focus on separation and to focus on all the bad things that have happened because that is gonna be the demise of you. That's not gonna help you grow. It's not gonna help you be stronger. So you have to let that go, okay? Um, you may have a problem finding a home or a job or the money that you're looking for, but this is just a reminder not to give up. Even though you have delays, there it is. Keep fighting, you have to keep going. There are gonna be, I feel like whatever you left behind, whether it's relationships, drugs, or hard times, are gonna almost pull you back in, okay? it's It almost has a confusing feel to it, like it's trying to confuse you, but you have to be able to stand strong and in your beliefs in order to move on, Leo, okay? And then moving forward into the month, I have the Ace of Wands. I love this for you because this talks about something coming out of the cracks, something giving you that feeling of optimism that things can change, that situations can change, okay? I do feel like this is an opportunity. 
it's not something that is very solid and you may feel a little frightened by it but because you really don't have anything else to hold on to it's better to take this opportunity than to stay in this energy of you know not knowing and it's okay because I see that you're afraid it came out like this actually which tells me that you're afraid and you're not strong enough to handle this mentally but you can do it it just takes a little bit of sacrifice on your part and a little bit of strength in order to to take this opportunity or to go towards the opportunity or have that feeling that things can change in your life okay so your hopes is that all of this can end and you can start a new cycle in your life you don't want to go back over this and you don't want to do too much or exhaust yourself so you end up going back into that situation it almost feels like to me like you want to take things slow you're being very smart about the things that you do in your environment, I see that you have beautiful things coming into you. You have people that want to help you, friends, opportunities. If you're waiting on a job or something, um, that will be coming into you. I see it stirring up in your environment. You just have to wait for it. Maybe the end of September or beginning of October, but it is coming, okay? Right now, you want to make a decision to, to change right? You want the wheel of fortune to change. You know that there's so much untapped potential in your life and inside of yourself and you will have that opportunity to gain that. You'll have the opportunity to, to do that because your outcome is the ace, I mean, I'm sorry, the page of wands. This is a beautiful reading by the way, Leo. And the page of wands <clears throat> is all about starting anew. It's all about beginning. That's about you becoming a new person being able to explore. I feel like taking this risk from the Ace of Wands turns you into this Page of Wands because it leaves you more energetic and more motivated and ready to seek new adventures and what's to come. And everything is gonna work with you, don't worry, okay? There may be an issue with family or there may be an issue with um, disengaging from things in your life that you no longer need but this is just a way for you to balance out what's supposed to be in your life and not be in your life the three of pentacles is beautiful right here because that tells me that there's some sort of recognition of who you are and it's going towards your goals and what it is that you want to achieve so you'll be moving forward after dealing with someone or something that wasn't for you seems like it would be but it's really not now you're going to be able to move forward with the two of wands like it says on new opportunities and start brand new okay sorry i feel like that music is really really loud okay I'm writing the um, title, sorry. <laughs> when it comes to me, I have to type it. If I don't, then I'll totally forget it. Okay, so Leo, now we're going into your Oracle cards, which is the intuitive part of the reading. Okay, Leo, what does Spirit have for you for September? Okay, the first card we have is Oracle Cards. And you are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. You have Listen. <laughs> It's really important that you listen to the beginning of this reading, the spread. 
if you jumped right into this part it's just this is I heard it like you need to go back you need to listen to that there's something in there for you okay so listen quiet your mind beloved one and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of stay in a quiet and receptive state without worry about the exact nature of your desires manifestation a quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly this is our request to you to listen okay next you have listened to your heart <clears throat> you are listening to what is being said to you but needs to need to listen with a love uh, why can i not talk a loving heart okay next we have <clears throat> Surrender to complete healing. Open fully to loving and compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Okay, Leo. So let's get into these cards and let's see what spirit's messages are for you. First of all, I don't know if you heard it at the beginning. If you are jumping into this reading, <clears throat> it's really important that you go back and listen to the spread. There's something in there for you for sure. Okay. Um, <clears throat> for those of you looking at Oracle cards and trying to find answers because you're lost, you have to let the situation flow you have to let things happen what's happening is you're on a healing process especially with complete healing it's about supporting you physical emotionally and spiritually as the card says there's a lot of things that are happening around you that you need to pay attention to i feel like there are things that people want to say to you or have said to you but you take it as being offensive <clears throat> offensive or not helpful okay because it's not exactly the answer you need or you know or they may not be giving you what you want but that doesn't mean that they're not trying to help you because we'll listen with your heart it means to see that these people care about you to see that people care about you and that, that you're going to have the things that you want but you have to stop looking at it with materialistic eyes there it is thank you spirit and to look at it with your heart and understand the healing that you're going through there are going to be a lot of trials and tribulations if you haven't went through them you are in the midst of them are going to go through them very soon i'm sorry and <clears throat> and it's all about helping you i think it's okay for you to if you have a deck of oracle cards pull a card a day one card a day and they're definitely um telling me to elaborate on that one card a day for your own spiritual guidance if you do not have an oracle deck please feel free to listen to my daily readings that's why they're there for you for guidance not to just tell you if somebody's going to come into your life or whatever i'm more of a guidance reader and a you know um a life coach type reader okay so <clears throat> so that's all that i have for you for this i'm trying to think yeah i definitely see that someone is trying to help you okay also be aware of things in the past okay people in the past situations in the past that were once king to you and i feel like i need to say that something that was set on high on a high pedestal of sorts okay um for some of you it was drugs for some of you are dealing with someone that was doing drugs okay for some of you it's chasing ideals or people that you're not going to get but you're going to grow out of all these things and all these opportunities will be given to you okay it's like you'll have a <clears throat> excuse me you'll have a different kind of strength about you in order to get through things or be a stronger individual okay Okay, so we're moving into the love section of your reading. <clears throat> okay, 
So first we're going to start with singles. So Spirit, what do you have for Leo singles for the month of September? Okay, we have soulmate <clears throat> and stay optimistic about your love life. <clears throat> okay, so I feel like with you singles, I feel like you're looking for your soulmate or you're looking for someone to be your soulmate. Please be careful about accepting anyone who comes into your life and just assuming that that's the person. Okay, please be uh, aware of that. If not, you will be soon because you've done it in the past, okay? And even though it's, it feels like it's it feels like it's going to end, I'm going to be honest with you, especially with this being in reverse. Um, to me, I feel like it's going to end. And you need to stay positive about love in general. Don't let this break you down, okay? Just learn your lessons and don't be so accepting of people in your life okay <clears throat> so it looks like you may have taken some foolish strides this is the general part by the way so it looks like you've taken some foolish strides when it comes to love and just jumping on in okay um instead of looking at looking at it in a realistic almost adult way Okay, and it wasn't fair. It definitely wasn't fair. But the whole thing is you started to notice that something was weird. I definitely feel that, okay? Um, or something just didn't add up. And this is your way of fixing the situation. I feel like you tried to fix it or you tried to open up some communication or something of that nature and it doesn't feel like your partner was really into that. Um, yeah, they you didn't they didn't give you the right kind of communication and you became really self-conscious about what was happening um or just not happy in the situation that you were in, Leo. Single Leos. So now you're definitely trying to you believe what you believe and you're not going to move from that. Um I feel like you're very strong in your convictions even though I'm not gonna say you miss this person. I feel like you miss the maybe the companionship or just something to do. I just heard distraction. So you're starting to lose faith in love and you're starting to lose faith in the idea of soulmates and all this which i see here because it feels like you had a connection but that connection i feel like it got confused and intertwined and in you just doing what you want to do you know um and then feeling and feeling really good you know it came in quick and left quick you know what i mean but now you're moving towards finding more justice in your love life and finding more balance there could be a libra okay um where there was there may be blocks but you're allowing those blocks to take place so you can definitely feel <sighs> okay you might have a problem with being jealous or you're dealing with someone cancer scorpio or pisces who has a problem being jealous and you know that because you have this feeling or they are doing this it's not going to go anywhere and you would rather have balance in your love life right now you don't have faith that that will take place and you're starting to focus more on yourself okay Okay, so next we have Leo singles dealing with fire signs, which are Aries, Leos, and Sagittariuses. Oof, that one really wanted to come out, so we'll let it. Ooh, excuse me.
Is this right? Yeah, it's right. Okay. All right, Leo. <clears throat> so you're definitely standing up for yourself. That's where you are right now. I feel like you tried one more time and it just didn't work, okay? But now you're thinking about yourself. You're starting to realize that you're battling something that's not good for you, okay? Um, this person, what they bring, what they represent is not good for you. And you are definitely standing up for yourself, not letting yourself get distracted. And I feel like you're defending yourself. Even if you are bruised and battle wound, you're still pushing through, okay? Your partner is trying, it has made a decision, okay? I feel like they're trying to settle the matter. They're trying to make the matter better. Um, but the thing is, they're not putting any passion into the growth. They're not really showing you anything. They're saying all of these things, but they're not ready. I feel like they're not, they have not changed inside, okay? Yeah, and there's a lot of self-conscious conscious energy in between you all. There's a lot of not good communication and some, somebody is acting completely childish in this situation, okay? Moving forward, you see that there is potential in the relationship, but it was a failure, okay? And you're not going to find your happiness there and this doesn't feel very secure for you. For your partner... I feel like they're being very childish about their emotions and they're probably saying things about you or posting things on social media or things like that. But it's because they feel unbalanced and what they thought would be stability for them has been broken off. But it's all it's really due to their own situation, right? You're not happy. So you're not going to stay in this situation. And they're almost just mad because you're not weak. I mean, that's really how it works okay so so moving forward I feel like there was some things you didn't understand about the relationship and what was happening and these may be revealed to you they may not okay I feel like it's something that you're gonna hold on to because you're not really gonna know what has happened or what was going on and why there wasn't any cooperation but to me i feel like it's drugs or drinking or someone else there is it's some sort of vice okay okay so leo singles dealing with earth signs taurus virgos and capricorns Okay, okay, Leo singles. I feel like you're trying to come back from being either away from this person or feeling like you have been pushed away because your partner is focused on other things, okay? And their emotion isn't coming towards you. They may not be feeling very emotional right now. They may be feeling very distant and you're feeling the distance between that person, okay? And I feel like you're ready to come out of the rest. Okay, you are ready for the rest to stop happening, and this person is causing the rest or causing this block, right? Um, I feel like they're trying to heal themselves, and I feel like they're trying to be better, but you just need more. I mean, that's pretty much it. You see that there's so much that could be had, there's so much they can do, but you're not going to put that effort in if they're not going to put the effort in, okay. I love that both of you have the ace, okay? <laughs> and I love that they're separated like this. Because your ace of pentacles is about stability. And understanding that there is something here. And something worth holding on to. So you're going to try to hope for something new. A new beginning, okay? Um... It's like you got distracted from this and focused on the fact that they work very hard and you appreciate that. But you don't want their work to be the only thing that they focus on, right? And you don't want to feel like 
if I move on that this isn't going to be a success. I should have paid more attention. I should have stuck to my guns. But I feel like you're going to... Um, they may offer you something to move in, a ring. There's something that they may offer you that distracts you. But it doesn't change the fact that they're busy all the time. Okay? Because they want love... They want this new beginning and this wonderful new start. They're ready to move forward. They have their own demons I feel like they're dealing with. They have their own secrets. But I don't feel like these secrets are bad. I feel like this secret, yeah, you'll find out what the truth is and they're going to tell you. I feel like they want you to move in or do something really nice. I feel like you're going to jump into it though. I feel like both of you are jumping in almost foolishly. But you're going to be happy. You know, it's almost like you took a risk. You took a risk that made no sense from where you were coming from. And it seems to work out. OK, just be sure to keep things fair and be sure to remember that you have to be happy as well. I mean, it's good to work on relationships as a couple, but it's also good to be happy um, when you're not around that person or even with your wit when you're with that person, because that was one of the issues that you were having. But that's the work needs to continue is what I'm saying. OK, because you're moving really fast or you're going to move really fast. The work needs to continue within the relationship. OK. OK, next we have Leo's dealing with Gemini, Libras and Aquariuses. Okay, Leo singles dealing with air signs for the month of September. Okay, I feel like there were struggles or you're starting to feel the beginning of struggles, but there is definitely some struggles. You're, you're still moving forward. I feel like... <laughs> You're definitely on a journey with this person, okay? Um, you're on a journey and there are delays. Like this is not gonna be the only delay. There, are, There's always gonna be this delay because there's an issue with communication because your partner is going through something right now. I feel like um, they're going through some misfortunes or change in the way they think about things and everything they thought was sure is not really sure anymore. Meaning that they might not even know if they want to be in this relationship anymore. And that's what I see. I see them not being completely sure about anything. Okay. And, but you are sure and you are still moving forward, even though there are delays. Okay. Now you, you are about to strive for the truth and you're going to get the truth out of your partner I feel like you're being pushed by friends or um, co-workers because they just told me co-workers there is there is a group of people that you hang out with or talk to that is that you're talking to that's giving you advice and they're helping you see things in a way that you never noticed it before okay your partner is trying to let go of all their burdens so they can actually be a part of the relationship but they're conflicted in their mind about what it is they want to do okay and they just want to see clearly and eventually they will see clearly and they'll start to open up. I feel like you're going to have to nag a little bit just to get a little bit of answer out of them, which is really not cool. It's really not. OK, so the thing that is interesting about this, I feel like you're going to feel like you won this, but they're going to feel like they dug themselves deeper in a hole because they should have just expressed everything that they felt. By the end of September, I see that the communication is going to stop or be really weird. Okay. Um, I do feel like you're going to have to put a lot more energy in to strike up conversations or to get things to flow, but that's not really fair. It's not really fair. And eventually you're going to feel rejected. But I feel like they're going to, yeah, they're going to try to recover with an offer, some sort of offer. 
okay out of childishness instead of just expressing or knowing what to do it's like they just they don't want to lose you so they just they just offer something like a ring or to move in together to take it to the next level or something like that but just be a little bit aware of that okay okay so leo singles dealing with water signs which are cancer scorpios and pisces Okay, Leo, I feel like you're going to find something out about your partner that is not going to make you happy, and they did not want you to find out, but you found out maybe something with social media, but there's other people involved or other situations. They may have been talking to other people or trying to get other people's um, attention but i see them being kind of happy because they don't have to deal with it anymore right um and i see you trying to figure out why that even happened why should that even happen um i feel them very much trying to hit you with the I wouldn't be here if I didn't love you. I really care about you kind of thing. But you feeling hurt, deceived, agitated, still focused on the fact that this even happened. Um, I see you not really feeling motivated with the relationship and I really wanted to move forward. I feel like you've lost some, some um, hope in this relationship and faith in it. And you're ready to heal from it. I feel like you want to let it go and I feel like you want to heal from it um, I feel like your partner is being unrealistic about what's going to happen okay and they're thinking that even though you're breaking up that you can be friends but I don't really see you doing that um, I don't I see you cutting the cords and them having to deal with it and them being really upset about it I almost trying to push back at you you're trying to find balance. I feel like everyone's trying to find their balance, except for it. they want you to do what they want you to do. <laughs> and you are like, why do you, are you not seeing what is happening? Um, but I feel like soon that balance will be made. Uh, I feel like the situation will be let go because the decision is fully made. You fully made your decision. You know what it is that you want. You're not going to bend. Okay. And that's that. Okay, so Leo's Leo singles dealing with water signs. Okay, Leos. I feel like um, your partner is going to hit you with some truth. Okay, um, that they want to hold on to you. I do feel like there is some sort of separation here with them, though. It's like you've already mentally separated and you are thinking or going a different direction that's not toward this, this person. Uh, but they are still trying to hold on to you and trying to come off as a hero in your life or you know like i heard captain save a hoe which is really funny but um 
they're trying to like swoop you up or make you see right um i do feel like you have been through this with this person over and over and you're kind of letting it go and they're bu busy trying to make amends or fix it or apologize okay i do see you seeing conflict with this you don't want this in your life anymore you're not happy here it's not a direction you want to go in i see that it is also a weakness for you which is why you continuously think or even talk or engage in this person but i don't feel like you're gonna get in it um i do feel like your partner is uh, attempting to sacrifice themselves to you so you can see that maybe they've changed or that they're different they're being extremely childish um they may be trying to get your attention with materialistic things but it's like the things that you do need they're not able to offer you because they don't understand and they feel like it's a failure Right. They feel like you were only in it for materialistic gain or something weird like that. That's not completely true. OK, but I feel like that's what they need to tell themselves to get by. So. So I see right here that there being a level of childishness within this situation. OK, yeah. You may also be fighting for this person in a different universe, um, a different version of this reading. I do see you fighting for this person as well. And they're being very childish and kind of sacrificing themselves and um, to saying they may have to focus on work and that this relationship or they don't want to fail or this particular phase of the relationship is a failure something of that nature but that's what i'm feeling because it could go back and forth with these energies here but i definitely see that one person wants to end it and the other person wants to keep it going or they still believe in it okay i do feel like there is a level of childishness going on here right people are not being realistic about what their um society is in this situation and how it plays together there definitely needs to be some balance and someone needs to take control i do see one person because i feel like these are both of you and i feel like one person is trying to be fair and trying to keep the balance and not really make any decisions on either side i do see that there's another person that's pushing very much um to get what it is that they want and to me to me it feels like both people are being sorry somebody was whistling and it sounded like they were in my house so i, <laughs> I was like what but i think i have a window open but anyhow everyone's being childish on their own agendas because things aren't meshing together there's not conversation things like that okay so thank you so much for listening and then we're going to move on to couples Okay, Leo couples, even though you may be with your partner, even though things may seem really happy on the outside, you all need to really have conversation. I feel like you need to, um, it's very interesting because it talks about you enjoying each other, but then needing to spend time alone. But what I'm, I'm going to focus on what I'm hearing. So I hear that you need to have a conversation. I feel like you need to get away. Um, something about a white party. <laughs> Is someone going to a white party? Um, I feel like you need to spend some quality time with your partner. And there needs to be some deep conversations and meaningful experiences. I feel like... 
it needs to be like a rom-com and what i mean by that is i feel like you need to have some sort of amazing adventure or situation where you go to a place together whether it's an event or a hotel or a country <laughs> or a city and just really have some memorable moments that can that you can talk about for at least a year to come when you're able to do it again right I, I just feel like that's something that you need right now that was really weird okay I just said it was weird because it was just so random so Leo couples let's see what your general reading is about this is for everyone the collective All right, you may have recently gotten into a relationship, okay, or you may have made up with your partner, okay, um, but I feel like there is a connection between you two that's something special, okay. Uh, I feel like you have been so focused on what it is that you want. I feel like you're really good friends. Um, or you want to be friends or you want to be more friendly or you want to have something to talk to your friends about Okay, but I feel like you've been so directed and on Life on career on what it is that was important to you that it's time to start something new within your relationship Okay, giving it a little bit of a spark. All right, um don't let anything come in the way of you doing this. I feel like everything is going to make you do that. We have to save money for this. We have to do this or I don't can't take off time. You have to make a sacrifice in order for your relationship to grow. Okay. Um, which is interesting because I see that there's a lack of cooperation here in the future, meaning that you, that there will be an issue, but then that ace of pentacles tells me that it's going to happen, that there's going to be some money that comes in, right? That you're able to do what you need to do or to heal the situation, but you need something new or some little spark to come. There it is. Some kind of spark or some sort of mystical, wonderful thing to happen. I just feel like it's time for you this month. Okay. So even putting it together will bring you closer, I feel, Leo. Okay, so Leo's. Leo couples dealing with fire signs, Aries, Leos, and Sagittariuses. All right, I see you seeing a delay to the passion in the relationship. Maybe you're not having as much sex as you usually have, which is a problem. <laughs> I don't care how you look at it, that's a problem. Okay, and I see your partner thinking that you're not interested in them anymore. Or that you may want to break up. They're losing faith in the relationship. And you're not really putting any effort forth. Or you're not really attempting to make anything happen. Because you may be feeling a lack of libido as well. Okay. But I do see here that you want to move forward. Okay. I feel like you want to get away. Um... They may hurt your feelings because I'm listening. I feel like something's going to hurt your feelings. Something's going to disappoint you. But it feels very like, okay, like you're going to walk away from it. Because that's the best thing to do because you're a team player. Um... Your partner, yeah, I feel like they're going to say some things that may be negative because their feelings or emotions are hurt. And um, they're not be re being really intuitive to their feelings or your feelings. But I feel like this needed to happen in order for there to be a change, okay? I see there still being an issue with the growth in the relationship. There may be like, um, at first it's going to feel like that leap of faith or that 
that step that you took that maybe hurt the other person's feelings was were not a good idea. But I do feel like they're going to realize or everyone's going to make a decision that they really want to be together and it's going to work out, okay? Because there's faith here and it's going to bring the relationship closer, believe it or not, because you expressed yourself or your partner expressed themselves. Okay, Leo couples. Dealing with Earth signs, Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorns. Okay, that tower is coming up in reverse an awful lot for you all. Okay. So I feel like there are some some surprises in your life, okay? That's why all those des that destitution 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 card was coming up in your reading, okay? So I feel like there is a surprise here. Um, maybe there is a loss of a job or a loss of money, something like that, a home, a car, something of that nature, because it's paired with that page of pentacles. I'm about to sneeze. Sorry, bless me. So, I feel like your partner feels like they don't have a plan or you don't have a plan, okay? But they have hope that you can do it together. I feel like they're going to make a plan, okay? Um, yeah, they're going to help you. You feel low, but they're going to bring you up. It's a team. It's a team thing, okay? So, um... I see you being happy. Um, I see things working out, but don't let your emotions get a, a hold of you. Keep track of having faith because you have someone strong behind you. Your partner is seeing that you're a little bit weak right now, but they have made the decision that you are a part of them and they're going to work it out. Okay. I see by the end of the month, there's a little bit issue with maybe balancing money, but everything will come together like it's supposed to do and you won't have to fight about it anymore more um i do feel like there are going to be some words about a decision this is this is the picture that's coming into my mind i feel like you need some help with something your partner's going to help you and and do what they're supposed to do but then i feel like you get angry or because they use the money but you really needed it it's like you don't trust um, that they can do it, right? And I feel like it's your fear or maybe feelings of the past. Maybe they lost some money or cheated or gambled or something. And you're feeling like there's something secretive going on. Um, you need to let that go. They're just, they're trying to do what they need to do, okay? It's like they finally get the opportunity to, to show themselves, okay? Hopefully they'll do right. I mean, it is tarot. Things are subject to change. Okay, so. Next we have Leo couples dealing with air signs. Gemini, Libras, and Aquariuses. Okay. I feel like you're trying to pull something out of your air sign, okay? Some sort of conversation, some sort of situation because you're feeling empty. You're feeling like they're not giving you what you deserve or what it is that you need, okay? Um, It's interesting because I feel like they're making the wrong moves 
and instead of making decisions or doing what it is they need to do they're kind of just standing in the middle of a hall that's what i see i see them just standing there with their hands up like i don't i don't know i don't understand i you know instead of being confused they need to take more action about what it is they're going to do you're done taking action okay uh, i feel like you may argue with them or push them a little bit but you're not really going to do much more than that okay i do there it is I see you not not doing anything, okay? You're gonna start to move forward, okay? Because it, it feels like to me, if no one is gonna work with me, then I'm not gonna work with them. I'm not happy here. Um, I'm not happy in this situation. I don't, I'm not feeling this, okay? But I see them, I do feel like you're gonna try to work with them though because you don't wanna fully let them go yet. Um, and I feel like they think that they have won. Um, they're not going to put the time and energy in. It's time for them to make a move and make some changes in their life. I mean, you can still give them uh, a chance, but just know that this is what is going to continue to happen. Okay. I feel like you're going to take the loss. They think they won. I'm just telling you that. So by the end of the month, you're going to be talking about trying to keep things balanced. Time, efforts, energies. So um, it can be equal between you two. But I feel like you are like a family. Um, you're starting to realize that what... The, the problem with your relationship is not going to be traditional. It's always going to be weird. It's always going to be a problem. And you're starting to perceive that. So you're just trying to figure out how to work around that so you can at least still be happy. Okay. Okay, next we have Taurus couples. Oh, sorry, not Taurus couples. Lord. <laughs> Leo couples dealing with Cancer, Scorpios, and Pisces. Okay. So Leos, I see you um, going out. I see you having fun. I see you celebrating. Um, I see you having a problem with your partner thinking that you're out doing something that you're not that you're not supposed to be doing. Okay. Um, and I see them getting angry about it and feeling like you're not working on the relationship. Okay. Um, And it's interesting because I feel like you haven't went out in a while or did anything for yourself in a while and this is what you chose to do. Um, I do feel like they're very adamant about the fact that something bad is happening. Like even though, even that you may be cheating or you may think that they're cheating. Someone's very adamant about it and the other person is just kind of standoffish like, you know what, whatever. That's what it feels like to me, okay? You, I don't see things moving forward. I don't see you starting up this conversation again. You don't even care. I see you um, going in a different direction with this. Um, it's almost like I'm not going to put my effort or energy towards this person or this situation. Um, I'm not really happy right now. This is making my life very difficult. I just see you drifting away. I see your partner trying to figure out what is happening. Um, it feels like to me that they didn't make a good plan. <laughs> they didn't make a good plan for their actions. They acted out of passion. Um, and now they're trying to, trying to resolve the situation or fix it. 
listen to their intuition. They may pretend like they're being all spiritual and everything now, but they definitely are going to try to offer you love or attention, affection, um, do really sweet things. Okay. Because they realize that they have a really good situation or family with you and they need to resolve their own issues okay i see that you're not going to let it go because there's a lot of potential here there's a lot of open conversation happening in the end of september due to this situation and you're going to be feeling really confident um that things are going to get better because right now they seem really really good and really stable but keep in mind that with the Ten of Wands coming up, it's a lot of hard work on your partner. They're not going to be able to keep this up. Okay. It's just what they're doing right now to fix the situation. So that's just a reminder for you. Okay. So thank you so much for listening and I will see you tomorrow. I love you very much. Love and light. Bye-bye.